Hey guys, hi, welcome back to another video. This is Coach Chef Starters Round 114. We're gonna solve the problem called Rock, Paper, Scissors. So let's see what the problem states. So we have like uh, two friends here, okay? One is uh, like Chef and another one is Chefina, okay? Now, uh, these both of the guys are playing the game of rock, paper, scissor. Rock, paper, scissor, you all know. This is rock, this is paper, and this is scissor. So they are playing across n rounds. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, a scissor can attack a paper. So the guy who is throwing the scissor gets a point. Paper can attack a rock. Paper gets a point. And rock can attack a scissor. And rock gets a point. If same string comes, then if the match is like a draw on that particular round now they are asking we are given a string a of length then that shefina plays in end rounds so shefina is someone she plays a set of moves like rock paper scissor or whatever be it they are giving it now in order to win a game chef needs to score at least n by 2 points that is floor of n by 2 means what if there are three games at least uh, 3 by 2 1 plus 1 so two points he uh, he should win he should score in order to win the round so it's like in coding terms it's like n by 2 plus 1 uh, points are required by the chef to win the match now there are many patterns he can win it right there are n rounds and uh, he can win in any round like n by 2 times at least n by 2 times but the catch here is uh, the string should be such a way that it should be lexicographically smallest sequence that's what they are telling so lexicographically smallest means uh, if there are many strings which are the possible strings that chef can win uh, if you sort them out or if it's in a dictionary sequence what is the first string that you get that is the lexicographically smallest sequence so let's understand this with the help of an example if chefina plays rock at least there is only one round he needs to win that one round so he needs to throw paper right only paper can destroy a rock so the answer was paper now P and S. So if Shefina plays P and S, what should uh, Chef play uh, in order to attack a paper? He should do scissor. But in order to attack a scissor, he should do what? Rock. So SR should be the answer. So Chef plays SR. Here this would be the minimum string that is possible. So that's why they directly gave the answer as this one. Now let's go to the next example. That is RSP. So RSP. Shefina plays rock, scissor, and paper. Now, he can win in multiple cases, right? Here they gave PRP. Chef plays PRP. That is PRP. If he plays, can paper attack a rock? Yes, he scores one point. Can rock attack a scissor? Yes, he scores one point. Can paper attack paper? No. So he scored two points. He already won. Okay. But is it the lexicographically smallest sequence? Let's try to find out. They gave another example like PSS. PSS. P can attack a rock. Paper can attack a rock. Yes. Scissor can attack a scissor. No. It's a draw. Scissor can attack a paper. Yes. So one. So here also two matches he won. But this is also one other sequence. Chef can win the match. But what is the lexicographical sequences? Smallest sequence is what they gave here. These are all the other possibilities. PPS is the smallest sequence. What happens in PPS? P, P and S. Paper can attack a rock. Yes, paper can attack a scissor. Paper cannot attack a scissor, right? So this is no. He failed. Now scissor can attack a paper. Yes. Now in this case, this is the lexicographically smallest sequence. So, so we need to output this sequence. How do we find out? Let's try to understand this. In If we say lexicographically smallest sequence, in the alphabetical order, what should we write? We should write like this, right? First, P comes in the alphabetical order, then R comes in the alphabetical order, and then only S comes. Now, let's take this example only, like uh, R, S, P. So if we are taking R, S, P, this is the alphabetic sequence, what is the best thing that I can do? What is the minimum length of this uh, sequence? Minimum, uh, the lexicographically smallest thing that can be achieved across everything is only one answer, right? What is that one answer? That is P, P, P. 
we don't know whether this is the answer or not but we are sure that p will be the smallest sequence that is possible now let's check out of this whether we are able to achieve our answer or not so paper can attack rock correct yes paper can attack scissor no paper can attack a paper no now we very well know that this is the smallest so on the leftmost side when we start comparing p is already at its position we are not going to touch it now who are the other things that are remaining r and s right r and s are the other people who are remaining now we go for the next candidate r if i want to place r here what is the optimal way i need to place i need to place from left or i need to place from right if i place from left it may happen that i might disturb the p sequence or p might lose in some game on the left and i can replace r he might win but it is not it might not be the lexicographical sequence so what do i do i come from the right side now i would check if rock can be replaced here paper means draw if i replace with rock what happens if i replace with rock it means that this still this guy will win this guy will win so rock is obviously not possible now i am uh, i got only one chance that is i need to replace it with s so what do i do instead of this i replace it with s on the right side so first we put all the piece then from the right you check whether r can be placed or not if r can be placed you attack it and increase your score if not then definitely you should place s now let's say that still i got only one point for some reason uh, let's say this is also one point only so what do i do i come one step to the left and say that whether r is possible or not so if r is possible here yes r is possible right so i attack p and replace it so i replace p with r so rock can attack a scissor in case if paper is here also i will replace r with s so that's all it's very simple so what did we do we understood that p p p p is the most smallest lexicographical sequence after that we are left with two strings two characters that is r and s in order to place these characters i start from the extreme right because for lexicographically smallest string we always compare from the left so we take the r and see whether uh, we can position r in such a way we can win against the shefina so if we are able to win against uh, shefina on that index we'll replace with r else we are very sure that we'll replace it with s so how did we code it let's try to understand so what did we do we replaced everything with p and whenever shefina score is r whenever shefina is having r i very well know that i am replacing it with p so i can increment my score whenever shefina gets an r on the extreme leftmost side now in case what is this required that is at least i need required numbers that is n by 2 plus 1 chef requires at least n by 2 or plus 1 in ppp itself if it matches score is greater than or equal to n by 2 plus 1 i put the result else what happens i come from the extreme right i equal to n minus 1 to 0 now s of i is not equal to r when chefina's uh, position is not equal to r that means what i already uh, checked for r with the p right i don't have to check for r now i will check for p if there is p here there is only one chance r i can't place as we saw here if it is p i'll directly replace with s okay and if it is s what happens there is only one possibility if it is not r not p there is only one possibility that is s if it is s i'll directly replace with r and for each iteration i'm incrementing my score chef's score if chef's score is greater than the required score i immediately break and come out of the loop so that's it guys and this is the code and uh, if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments it's quite a simple problem and uh, if you like the video please don't forget to share the comments and uh, uh, click the subscribe button thank you